Is this thing on? I think it is. So, Sam, we talked about could rag retrieval augmented generation be used to draw a diagram describing how rag retrieval augmented generation works. Behind me on the screen is a decided no. <laughs> Let's look at what I did and then maybe you can tell me what can be done better next time. So let's go put me in a corner and look at the, the final result of what I tried, which was giving it a, giving it being Claude, a conversational chat agent from Anthropic, a SVG and then having the color changed in a few ways. Before that, I was in a tool called Mermaid Chart, looking up where is this company from? Apparently, this fella, Newt, and I didn't look up where he's from, it's one guy sort of besides the point Though I did look up Open Core Ventures and it appears to be from San Francisco, which I would call Silicon Valley, which would mean schmucks. There's caveats out there, but I'm not making them today. Okay, so this was the chart I was seeking to make as an improvement on what I made by hand. What I made by hand, I believe I have up, I do. Here. What might be better about the chart that is here? It's that it's linear. It does something of a story from beginning to end. Maybe if I zoom out, I was hoping that this word answer would not be clipped. It's clipped. There might be a better version of it. We'll find out. So this chart here is intended to show the same as this chart here. The last part that I was showing you on Claude was my attempt at making that SVG, which is here, to be stylized with the same style as the chart I made by hand, where the final thing I did on the chart was make an attempt at having a black and white style. That was the last thing I did here. So I got to this point, how did I do that? Well, we talked about a chart that would be represented by a markup language. I picked Mermaid JS. It's something where Mermaid JS, different than mermaidchart.com, is an open source project. It's all available on GitHub. It's well documented, and the diagram syntax is all available as markdown documents. So I can go to GitHub and find that source documentation, which I did, view the raw data, which I did, and all of that's here, just marked down. I took all of the documentation from the syntax directory, went to call it a dozen or so files into a single markdown document, and I put that into some conversations. So I go to this conversation of first diagram and that attachment here, mermaid documentation, is available now in the context for Claude, which in the flowchart here and other places 
is the business databases. Business databases, for a reminder, is a term to represent the source of data that is then being retrieved in order to provide a better answer. We have a desire for a better answer from an original question combined with business data that bop, 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 bop represents retrieval augmented generation. Back in Claude. Claude, where are you? Hi, Claude. Hi. This document is the facsimile of, the basic representation of, the business databases of retrieval augmented generation. This is the question, and then we have our better answer. And this chart here, which is representing a simple flowchart, graph in mermaid language, and what I'm clicking now to is a live editor where I can paste that in, and we get the standard flow for working with the LLM. Ask it a question, get an answer. And it's this flow that, by going towards this, retrieval augmented generation improves on. Rather than just going question, LLM, answer, we go question, combine with some business data, create embeddings, and then query vector database, and then we get context, and then we take that context as input in addition to the original question to provide the LLM and then receive a better answer. Because we're doing a fast version of this, there are no embeddings and query and vector database involved. We simply add additional context in the form of this file upload. This is a very simple case, yet it's illustrative anyway. We got a working chart, cool, for the basic first diagram where we just want to represent the base case of using an LLM that most businesses may be familiar with. So I want to make that second diagram and I give it the same context. I give it a few more nodes and I get back something. And when I put that something in, it doesn't work. Not knowing the diagram's syntax, I don't know what's not working just off the top of my head. Here I am in a live editor provided by Mermaid to show what's working and what syntax is cool. And I have down here a button that I can press called ER. Here's an ER diagram. And what I see here by this example is it's providing me a syntax that's not quite what I was looking for. I was looking for something more like this, just a flowchart. So how did I get to this? By way of here, by way of that wrong answer provided by Claude, hello, we're in Claude again. Yet, I gave it a, another attempt using what I just learned by making an attempt at displaying it to go towards a second diagram. In this conversation, this is the same context. I've updated my language where before I was using words like entity, I'm now using words like node. And before when I was asking for a diagram, I'm now saying specifically a flowchart. And lo and behold, I get a better answer. I get a flowchart. And what I have here, then copy and paste, boom, doesn't work again. It doesn't work again. What I get to then is back to this flow diagram example, and it's got the elements anyway that would be necessary to make the final product. 
final product. Here it is here. I've got a few tabs open and it's useful in a certain way and confusing in others maybe if you're trying to follow all of the windows. Uh, basically, I'm back now where I'm in the open source editor and this is where I was and I'm getting an answer that doesn't work. I'm going to go back to the closed source version of the same mermaid stuff and now I'm putting it in here. And this is in some ways visually better than what I had on my own in the sense that it presents from left to right. It's a nice thing. And I suppose on the fly now I could go top down and I could get top down as that. Maybe I can go down top. <laughs> no, that's silly. Okay, so we're back here with a diagram. We're seeing that I've got failures in here. Yet, by hand, in the addition of my human intelligence, I'm able to get to this, which is ultimately what I'm attempting to show, a flowchart. I now have some better knowledge of language in this world. I know what the difference between flowchart is, and I know the difference between that and an entity relationship diagram in the visual sense. You may well be able to use both, yet I am using the flowchart. I like it. Now, in order to get to here, I asked some follow-up questions about, is there a way to make a dotted line? There is. I didn't know how. Yet, back in the diagram, I originally had this, where the question was represented by a solid line, and I wanted a dotted line to differentiate. It's a carry forward. It's the same question, and without it, it might look more like this, where the original question is also just like from the beginning shown, also hitting the LLM. I could do like this where this is representative. Uh, let me go back to just what it was. I landed on this. I thought this was nice. And it shows that it's the original question. It takes that context that was provided, in this case, Mermaid JS documentation. Then we have our LLM, in this case, not ChatGPT, but something like it, Claude, provided by Anthropic, and we get a better answer. Somehow in the mix, I got into mermaidchart.com, which is similar to the tool here, Lucidchart, and I was getting into the idea of well, Lucidchart's Lucidchart, and it's a paid tool, then Hey, Mermaid's got this live example thing. That's it's real nice. It's got the uh, in this. And that's how I got here. Save it to Mermaid chart. I thought great. I'll save this. It should be should be all right. But now, well, let's let's go full screen and back because I'm kind of at the end of my journey. It's worth. Hi. So. What did we talk about, Sam? Talked about you had some idea. You shared with me making a chart using documentation. In your case, I believe it was 100% necessary to add the documentation as context because it didn't come out until after 2021 when ChatGPT was at the beginning of its training, and therefore the end of the data collection phase of that model. And because that documentation came out after 2021, you wanted to add some context and then work with that context to answer some questions. And in your case, it was to create a diagram. So I 
here now, duplicated that same thought process with Mermaid JS. I had a limited good result in that it did a very simple flowchart to technical perfection in that I could copy and paste the code and it worked. And then for a more complex chart, I had first my own language to improve on by way of a failed first example coming up with code that not only didn't work, but also if it did work would represent something I didn't quite want. So I just did the process again and in a second attempt. It gave something closer to what I want, but I still had to look at some real working examples to then get to what I wanted. And that's okay at the end of the day. And I've stopped there. I feel I've got a chart I didn't have before, some knowledge of one failed use case, and it would be a logical fallacy to say that this now proves anything. I've done one thing and I'm one man at one computer with one hour's effort. So I don't know that I've proven that this concept doesn't work. In fact, because you shared that yours did work, in fact, all I've done now is say, here's one more case, and in the one case it worked for you, in the one case it didn't work for me, and we have the open question, what can we do better? How can this be done better? And that has an answer. mermaidchart.com provides it. Now I'm going to go back to putting myself in the corner and I'll return to full screen in just a moment after I show Mermaid Chart has the answer. Mermaidchart.com. Where are you, mermaidchart.com? Here you are. Hi. What happens when I have an error in my chart? I want to make an error I'm going to do a syntax error. I get this. Repair the diagram is a disabled button. If you have a subscription, you can let our AI assistant try to repair the diagram for you. Change your subscription here. This loads up a pro tier of $80 per year to do when I move my face. Ultimately, unlimited whatevers yet even though it's not advertised here the upsell here showed it that you can use AI chat here's AI chat again you can ask me for black background with white text this is something I wanted I wanted a black background with white text I still don't know how to do it but they have an AI chat bot for $80 a year that can do it. How might that AI chatbot work? Well, I'm going to guess they went further than retrieval augmented generation as a methodology. I'm going to guess they went with a fine-tuned model. So you know, and I know, and the whole of engineering land knows, a fine-tuned model means training a model. It doesn't mean training a model from scratch. It does mean using GPU intensive processing power to work with an existing model and modify the model itself, which a fine-tuned model is a different approach to getting a better answer than retrieval augmented generation. Retrieval augmented generation might be seen as a step in that direction that doesn't need a necessary new team member who has fine-tuned modeling knowledge or the compute research power that's associated with it. It's a valid approach and in mermaid chart as a business reliant on it for, well, an entirely different usage, a different use case than I'm advocating a retrieval augmented generation use case for.
Let's end here. Let's end stating, first of all, great advice, retrieval, augmented generation, explained in a diagram that was built with the help of retrieval, augmented generation, has been a fun way, no, Actually, yes, a fun way <laughs> to spend a couple hours now on a Saturday night. So all of this here, good knowledge. Till next time, take care.